another video from our exclusive interview series with successful business analysis practitioners. I am Rashmi from Tech Canvas, your host for this session. Tech Canvas is an edtech organization catering to several business analysis certifications. Tech Canvas is an endorsed education provided for IIBA. IIBA stands for International Institute for Business Analysis, one of the leading organizations in the domain. So the intention of this interview is to bring out stories from successful business analysis practitioners so that it inspires aspirants who are on their BA journey. So today we have invited Manidipa Chatterjee. She has recently cracked IIBAC BAP certification examination, one of the toughest challenging certification exam in the domain. So welcome Manidipa. Hello, thank you. And many congratulations for the CBAP certification. Thanks. So for the audience, CBAP means Certified Business Analysis Practitioner. This certification holds a lot of credits in the business analysis, analysis domain. So let us begin. Um, for the sake of audience, uh, Manidipa, can you tell us about yourself? Um, I'm a, um, I, I have a 18 years experience in um, various roles in uh, the industry in IT uh, domain. And uh, a large part of it is as a business analyst. Um, business analysis to uh, in currently, uh, you know, there are roles like product owners, which also in the agile framework that we do. So uh, right now I'm a uh, product owner uh, in an agile project in, uh, and my domain is healthcare. Uh, I'm based out of uh, the US Canada region. So uh, I have like uh, more than 12 years experience working as a, a lead practitioner in a large IT firm for various healthcare clients. Wonderful, wonderful. So yeah, when did you do the CBAP certification? Um, I did CBAP uh, in summer of this year. Um, that's when I took the exam, but the preparation uh, started, I think uh, last fall. So when did you decide to go for CBAP certification? So it was a little bit into the pandemic because uh, we, we we were in the middle of the pandemic and it, it was a little different kind of schedule for all of us. Um, uh, travel times were cut short. We were working from home. So uh, I, CBAP was on my wish list for a long time now. Um, because I kind of went into the business analysis uh, profession from my uh, role as a developer. I had graduated into it, but I hadn't uh, taken a professional, uh, you know, course into it. It was more uh, work uh, related and on the job training for me. So somewhere I always had it in mind that I want to do this. And it just seemed like the perfect opportunity during the pandemic to just go ahead and get it done. Oh, all right. So how did you plan your preparation, given that you are working as well? So uh, for me, it was like in uh, two phases. Um, like I said, I started planning for it about in last fall and um, at around September, October uh, of last year. And then um, I uh, took the uh, tech canvas, you know, as I started going through the, uh, actually I took the uh, material and I started reading it and then I, figured that I need some help. So when I, you know, uh, got into, did some research and found Tech Canvas and I, uh, you know, did the course with them, it, it was very helpful uh, pointing out like what kind of exam it is and what are the important parts of it and how to prepare. So th that that was a, a, you know, a good, a good step in that direction. Uh, along with it, so I, I just did like the Tech Canvas course. I kept reading the material. So that was my phase one of the preparation. And then just before the exam, like I took the exam in August um, of this year. And when I took the exam, uh, just before that, like two months before that, I was very rigorous about it. I had a, a plan that I, I mean, I'm going to, by the time I was well versed with the material but i wasn't prepared for the exam so i started like you know deep diving into each of the things memorizing mind mapping so all of that happened in the last two months so that was kind of the phase two of my preparation okay. so anytime you felt you were not feeling confident on your preparation 
Oh, well, uh, it's just me, but uh, I tend to be a little conservative about my preparations. Like I just feel like, oh, I haven't done enough. I haven't done enough. And then that's just me. So I was like, I had gone through the material. I had done the text canvas, um, uh, the all the um, sessions. And then I had done all the papers, like, you know, all this large, large question bank available, which was very helpful. And I, I was getting like, I was getting good scores there, but somehow I was like feeling maybe I'm not prepared. Maybe I'm not prepared. Even if you won't believe it till the last date of the exam. And even when I had actually done the exam, I was feeling like, okay. Uh, I mean, I knew that it went well and then it was a relief that, okay, I got through. <laughs> it's just me, but you know, uh, that that's just me, but. Yeah. So must tell you this this happens with everybody. Almost everybody is saying the same thing because given that CBAP has the large, it's a vast. Uh, it's uh, too big. It's too, too big. huge. Yes, yes, so, yes. It was too huge. And then even if you've worked as a professional, uh, there's always like twenty to twenty five percent of the um, uh, information in there. Which no matter how many projects you've done, how how uh, how many uh, you know um, uh, organizations you've worked for. There is always something out there which you haven't dealt with in your professional uh, career. So there is something out there that, you know, um, you need to kind of it's new for you and you need to understand it. So, yeah. So uh, though you already mentioned about earlier, but uh, uh, specific uh, this question, how much time did it take for your preparation? Like I said, it, it overall, I would give it like six months, but all of the six months was not like very intense. The last two months were more intense. Yeah. So, um, and can you share your mental status on the exam day? Uh, like I just uh, briefly touched upon, I did not feel like, even though you read the material uh, a lot of times, uh, the questions come from even the footnotes and even from like, you know, a line, a stray line here and there. And you don't have to uh, cram up the material, but you have to understand the whole thing, which is very important for your um, the the case study kind of questions. But on the day of the exam, I, I wasn't feeling like uh, I was feeling like there's still stuff out there, which maybe I should have gone through one more time. But when I was but the fun part is when I was actually appearing the test, I had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of fun with the case study questions. They were a little tricky. Uh, they made me think, and uh, it, it was fun. Like uh, those case study questions were uh, the tougher ones, and and the uh, there, was, there was a percentage of questions which were like you know where you had to kind of like know it from memory or you had to refer back to the material. So that those were those were easier. Those were easier. Yeah. So uh, how is the life after CBAP certification? Do you see any changes um, in your career or your first or your perspective? Yeah, so I did. Uh, so two things here. One is, like I said, I have been working as a business analyst for a long time. And then when you are well settled in your career and like you, you are working across organizations and you know you feel like you know a lot that's going on in, in, in the industry. But when you actually whatever certification you're doing it just formalizes your knowledge and it also uh, you you do have to put in that time the effort uh, uh, all of that into it and and there's always like i said some 20 to 30 percent things in there which you have never even come across no matter how uh, wide you have worked in the industry so there is that new knowledge that comes in and the fact that you still have the drive to complete like a, a tough exam like this, it puts you uh, a little above your peers for sure. Because I know in my uh, domain, there are quite a few people who have tried the CBAP and have not been able to crack it. So the fact that, you know, I've been able to do it does like, you know, put me a little above uh, uh, them in terms of still having the drive to uh, do it and you know, put a put a mark on it that this, yes, I did it and it's done. Right, right. And it gives you a lot of uh, you know, confidence as well. That oh, 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 definitely, definitely. Because uh, like I said, I was uh, in the initial phases of my career, I had joined IT as like uh, in the development stream. And then because of like communication skills and uh, like, you know, different other soft skills and all of that and my interests also in the BA work, I had 
moved towards that stream. But uh, this kind of, so that's why I always wanted to do the CPAP because this is like a formal, you know, uh, you've finished this uh, subject matter and you've done the certification. And like you said, it's it's the highest one that there is from IIBA. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, one final question. Uh, any specific tips and tricks uh, you would like to share with the aspirants? So, um, go through the material several times. Um, like, first imbibe it in yourself, like at a high level. And then um, I would say there's two ways that you can attack the material. One is you will see a lot of definitions and a lot of uh, uh, terms that you need to kind of understand and commit to memory. But there's also the entire structure of the uh, document and the material is so vast, you need to make a mind map of it. And that is one of the things that uh, as a, uh, is one of the tools a business analyst uses as well, a mind map. Like you need to figure out how that information is mapped onto your mind in the best possible way, because it's not possible to uh, like, you know, just line by line memorize the whole material. So you have to understand it uh, thoroughly and you also have to understand how to um, uh, apply it to the um, questions that are coming uh, for the case study related questions. Right. Yeah. So those would be my tips for anyone trying to crack CBAP. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, this is it uh, for the aspirants. And thanks, yeah. Manudipa. Indeed, a wonderful session. Thanks for taking out time to share your experience. And, Thank you. Uh, many, many wishes from Tech Canvas uh, for your uh, future and bright uh, career ahead. Bright future Thank you. Ahead. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Glad. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.